Hi, it's Ivana helping you get fit, healthy, and strong. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build shoulders that are strong and functional at home. So this is going to be a complete shoulder workout that you can do at home with just dumbbells. So that means we're going to hit the front, middle and rear delts as well. At the end, I'm actually gonna show you how to put it together with sets and reps. So you wanna warm up your shoulders first. I tend to just choose a really light weight and start doing some of the exercises that I'm gonna do anyway, just to kind of warm things up, hit the shoulders from different directions. One good little warm up as well, dumbbell halo. If you just go around, rotate all the way around in the shoulders. And both directions. Stirring in one direction. And then the other way. And also just bring it up and down. Just really, really light to get the shoulders warmed up and ready to go. And we're gonna start the shoulder workout with alternating front raises. So just dumbbells in front, good control. Keep it pretty slow on the eccentric movement as well. Control on the way down. I really like the leaning lateral raise because it gives a lot of focus on that medial delt. So you're just going to support yourself with something and lean slightly and then lift up. Again, control on the way down. And then, of course, you want to switch over to the other side. Now we're going to lean it forward for bent over straight arm extensions. This is great for the rear delts and your triceps as well. So bend forward, arch in the lower back, and then just bring the arms backward. Try to keep your shoulders from coming up towards your ears, really pull it down, and then push your chest out to get that full range of motion on the shoulders. Now, dumbbell shoulder presses are great. For this particular workout, we're gonna do a single arm dumbbell press. So working unilaterally. Don't forget to do the other side as well. We're going to be back in that bent over position this time for an elbow row. This is for the rear delts. So arch the back. You can also do this one on a bench face down. Now we're going to do the seated external shoulder rotation. So one foot up, the other leg out here, and you're going to bring the elbow on your inner quad there, just beside the patella, your kneecap, and maintaining 90 degrees at the elbow, you're just going to slowly lower it down. 
and back up. So control without moving the leg too much and without hunching your shoulders up. So good controlled motion. Try to get the full range of motion, whatever it is for you. It might just be there. I try to rotate it down as much as possible. And then back up. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other side. Just swapping it over, supporting with the other leg. Here, elbow up, 90 degrees at the elbow. Really push your chest out as well. You can get the support with the other arm. And slowly down. We're gonna come on to a bench for the seated V raise. What I like about this one is it's a slightly different angle. It's not a lateral, it's not a front. You're going 45 degrees to the front. And because you're in the seated position, you're focusing more on the actual shoulder work rather than trying to stabilize yourself with the lower body or with your core. Arms at your sides, relax. So you can go up past horizontal, just make sure that you keep your shoulders down and you're not elevating your traps and getting into that. So drop down and lift. Now as a fun shoulder finisher, we're gonna do pike push-ups. So your feet up are on a bench and your hips are high and your hands are a bit closer than they would be for a normal push-up. And then you're coming down. I want you to do as many as you can at the end of the workout to finish off the shoulders. So I've shown you a lot of shoulder exercises there. You can do all of them in one session if you want. I recommend no more than two sets for that. Or you can break it down into two separate shoulder workouts. So just choose three or four of the exercises. And if you're really working on growing your shoulders, do this workout two to three times a week. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this workout and make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you again soon.